our second lesson, we are going to be looking at changing the cube's appearance. We can do this by tapping on the cube and tapping on the transform button. For our second lesson, we are going to be looking at changing the cube's appearance. We can do this by tapping on the cube and tapping on the transform button in the top right hand corner to open up the transform panel. We can change the cube's scale. We can change the look by changing the material. So you have glossy paint, matte paint, plastic, car paint, aluminium, brass, bronze, gold, steel, rubber, and terracotta. Now, if you tap back on glossy paint, underneath this, you will notice material color. When you tap on the rectangle, you'll be given a color palette and you can choose whatever color you like. Try out some different colors and try out some different materials and see how they look. The material color will only work on the materials glossy paint, matte paint, plastic, and car paint. Once you've chosen your color, scroll down and play around with the sliders on width, height, depth, and bevel radius, which will round out your object. See what they do and how they can change your shape. Try out a few different things and see what happens to your cube. If you notice that your shape, like mine, has moved below the surface, you can use your three axis arrows to move your shape to a different point on the grid. The green arrow is your Y axis and this will move your shape up and down. The red arrow is your X axis and this will move your shape back and forth. And then you have your Z axis, which is the blue arrow, and this will move your object forward and back. In your transform panel, you also have physics and you can turn this on by toggling on the participates button. You then have motion type, which can be fixed or dynamic. And you have different materials such as concrete, ice, lead, plastic, wood, and rubber, and also different collision shapes but you don't have to worry about the physics until we start to add on a behavior. Have a play around with your cube, try out all different things, move it up and down through the space with your arrows. Really try to manipulate what this looks like and test out the different colors and materials.